What's up, my friends and the viewers of the tube? So I tried Uber driving for the first time, and I want to share my experience and why I decided to do it as a kind of a test. And so the reason being, well, let's just get into the details. So I usually rent my car on uh, on Toro, and so I have a car that was sitting. Uh, this this Ford Fusion was picked up on. Uh, yesterday at it was dropped off at 8 a.m. and I from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I had it not doing anything so I was like how are all these people paying me thousands of dollars a month to drive for uber when they're paying me a good amount of money and to rent my vehicle essentially and I figured you know what I'm gonna put it to the test and see how much money can be made, what kind of experience I have, and is it actually worth it? And so without further ado, I'm gonna be going over those details. So as you can see here, this is just, this is Toro, nothing to do with uh, Uber. Um, and this is my earnings from uh, passively, essentially from using the Toro app. I only have three cars on there right now because I have a lot of cars that are private. And so I wanted to use this uh, Fusion as a kind of a test vehicle. So I wanna show you my results from Uber and driving for Uber and my thoughts. So as you can see here uh, on the 7th, when my car was not to do anything, I um, made $119, 15 trips and seven hours. Of those seven hours, I was probably only working maybe six, maybe five, because some of the time I would be driving home, uh, which I guess counts, but some of the time I was just sitting at home uh, eating lunch and just seeing if a ride would share up. I'm kind of off away from uh, Dallas, so I'm not at, in the thick of Uber, where all the Uber people would be. But as you can see, it did make $119 from doing both delivery and rideshare. And I would say, is it worth it? What I've realized is I should probably, if I were to do it again, and I probably will just to pay down the cars quicker so that I can buy more car rentals to then uh, use that to uh, essentially buy more cars, more passive income but because I'm trying to grow it to a million dollar car rental business. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check that out. I'll link it maybe somewhere above or just uh, you can subscribe and get up to date on, up to date on all of my time sensitive material. But uh, I would say that I spent more time for less money doing delivery versus um, doing rideshare. I felt that rideshare was more bang for your buck. Um, and I will definitely be doing a kind of side-by-side -side comparison. The reason why I started, I have a few days, if we look on my iPhone, on the 5th and the 3rd, um, I was just kind of get, getting my feet wet with it. And then on the 7th, I spent like a day kind of really testing it. And I found that delivery was not good. Rideshare was good for, for me in my area. Um, I am gonna test different areas, see if they're worth it, what kind of strategies I can come up with so that my drivers who have uh, our rented vehicles can earn even more money. But I did realize that uh, the time spent was not worth, the, with it, worth it for me for delivery. Um, because one, well, to kind of go off of that, each car that I rent out goes for $45 to $50 a, a day. Uh, the little Prius here goes for $35, um, but typically my cars go about for $45 to $50 a day. When I am doing um, here, I made $119, so about double what it goes for a day. Um, would I do this again? I pro Like I said, I'm probably going to do it definitely do it again. I'm gonna test out a few different markets. There are some hotter areas that I find that would probably do a little bit better. Actually, going maybe down to Dallas and spending more time over there, maybe over in Denton or McKinney, 
and seeing if I spend the whole day there, how that would look. So I'm definitely gonna test these different markets out to see if it is worth it for uh, Uber drivers essentially, or if delivery is better in smaller like business areas. So there are a lot of things that I do wanna test so that I can help my drivers who are using our cars to make, uh, to make money with so that they can earn more money. Um, we do have a training we're gonna be doing on exactly how I'm growing a seven figure uh, car rental business, but you can definitely check out the links below. But I think that, you know, this, if you can make uh, what's a, like a hundred and, I only spent maybe six hours. So if you did this $200 for 12 hours, uh, $200 times 30 is what, $600, $6,000 a month. So it's a nice little side gig, but again, you are having to put 12 hours a day uh, in. Um, I could probably earn more by not doing delivery and doing some more testing and being in more dense areas. Uh, I would say, like I said, in those other cities, not where I currently live, because it's just not, it's too spread out where I live. Um, so you're spending more time driving to the restaurant than actually picking up a, uh, a driver. Um, you do have to take into consideration cart maintenance, repairs, uh, gas, that sort of thing. So I am gonna be doing a few different testing too. I'm gonna be buying a Tesla. So I will be uh, doing a video on that where, and not renting one, I will be buying one to, one, my wife wants one, so I figured I'd buy one for her. But two, um, I think it's gonna be a lot cheaper on gas. All my cars are hybrids, but for as far as gas goes, uh, or I don't really pay for gas, but if I were to drive, say, consistently for Uber, then having the wall plug-in and the owning the vehicle would be the most bang for my buck. The reason being is much cheaper to use a wall charger at home, especially since we have solar, so it's like free, um, than actually charging at a charge station. Number two, if I'm spending you know six, seven hours a day driving, I kind of want to make sure that I can fill it up at the end of the, the night, overnight, and not have to wait for my vehicle to be charged in the middle of the day because that then that takes away from the earning potential. So there is a lot of testing that I still want to do. Um, I do have plenty of cash flow coming in from my car rental business and other businesses. So this is just market research in a sense. So definitely follow along, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date on how I'm growing a seven figure car rental business and all sorts of different other ways to make money. I, I invest in crypto and all sorts of fun things. So definitely check that out. But I uh, wanted to give you an update on how much I've made um, from the my first time driving really for Uber rides. And that's about it. I think that um, if people, I th there is a cap, right? Like there is a cap on how much you can make. And if you are okay with only making five to $6,000 a month, driving full time, then that's great for me. I, that's just not enough money. Um, but that's why I reinvest all my money into more income producing assets. Definitely. If you want to join our cash flow community and learn how we invest in cash flow and assets, you can definitely check out the links below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.